Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a functional equation with a single variable. So we have f of x plus 1 over x equals 5x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. And we're going to be solving or trying, we're going to be trying to find an expression for f of x. Okay, great. So I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So our goal is to find an expression for f of x. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of substitution, so bear with me. For the first method, I would like to replace this whole thing with something, because that's definitely going to simplify my expression. Since I'm trying to get something that looks like f of x equals something something, then if I find f of something else, then I can easily convert it. And by the way, don't worry about these substitutions x is not a fixed value, x is a variable, I can replace x with t, and then t with x, and then t x with 2t, they're not going to be the same thing, makes sense? They're dummy variables, you just use them and discard them. So, don't get stuck on the fact that, hey, you have to do this, and otherwise it's going to happen, uh, you know, it's not going to be consistent. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to replace this whole thing with t, because t is my favorite variable these days, until I find another one. So, set x plus 1 over x equal to t. What do you think we should do next? Solve for x, right? Obviously, because if I can solve for x from here, then I can go ahead and plug it in here and here. That's, that's going to give me the answer pretty much. Okay, so the question is, in case uh, some people are complaining, hey, what is the question? We don't even know what the question is. You're supposed to evaluate f of x. Find an expression for f of x, okay? Let's put it that way. It's not necessarily evaluating. Anyways, let's go ahead and cross multiply here. x plus 1 equals xt. This my goal is to solve for x here. I would like to, con uh, what is it called? I would like to collect everything that has x in it on the same side. Bring down the x over here like subtract xt minus x equals 1. Switch sides and then factor out x x times t minus 1 equals 1. And then finally, divide by t minus 1, and you're going to get x equals 1 over t minus 1. Okay, great. So if I replace x with 1 over t minus 1, I should be getting f of t on the left-hand side inside the parentheses. Is that true? Let's go ahead and check it out. We have f of x. I forgot what the expression was. <laughs> x plus 1 over x, even though I came up with this problem. So I guess in that sense, you could call this a homemade problem. I don't always say they're homemade, but you could probably guess uh, unless you know the source of the problem and you can always indicate that if in case I don't know, I will make a correction because sometimes I use Olympiad problems or any type of math competition uh, without knowing sometimes because they're all ingrained in my brain and they just come out sometimes. So what am I supposed to do? Okay, replace x with this. Let's do it. f of 1 over t minus 1 plus 1 over 1 over t minus 1. What is that going to give me, right? That's the question. And when you make a common denominator, you're going to get 1 plus t minus 1 over t minus 1. That is divided by 1 over t minus 1. And then t minus 1 cancels out when you flip and, you know, multiply. And this gives you f of t as we claimed before. So it works. I mean, it should because we solve the equation when you plug it back in it should be working. But there are some limitations, you know, in this case, t should not be a 1, so x cannot be a 1, so on and so forth. Okay, there, there is a couple different uh, limitations we need to think about. Obviously, x plus 1 over x cannot be 1, right? Because otherwise, that would be absurd, like absurd, meaningless. Anyways, so we did that replacement on the left, but we also have to do it on the right-hand side. So let's summarize what we're doing. We got this expression. That is equal to 5x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. And then I'm replacing x with 1 over t minus 1 on both sides. We know that on the left, it's going to give me f of t, needless to say. And then on the right-hand side, we got to figure it out. 5 times 1 over t minus 1 plus 3 divided by 1 over t minus 1, which replaces x plus 1. Again, we can make a common denominator, or uh, a smarter way to do it is multiplying by t minus 1. It's actually equivalent, but 
Uh, by the way, I'm not just multiplying the numerator, so this is, uh, is going to create an equivalent expression, except when t equals 1, we're running into a problem here. So we're going to have to exclude that. But if you distribute, uh, t minus 1 is going to cancel out here with this one, so on and so forth. So you're going to get the following from here. f uh, is going to be 5 uh, plus 3 times t minus 1 divided by when you multiply these two things, it's going to give you 1 plus t minus 1. And obviously, 1 is going to cancel out here. This is going to give us 3t minus 3 plus 5. That's plus 2 divided by t. Okay? So that's going to be my expression for f of t. So we solved for it, but guess what? We want to have our function. And we want to use the uh, x as the independent variable. So let's replace t with x. Again, this is not the same x <laughs> as the beginning. So this is a different x, and it doesn't really matter. So don't take it too seriously. That's the answer. Great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method, and you'll tell me which method you like better and why. Please. Don't forget to comment on that one. So second method, what is the problem, right? f of x plus 1 over x equals 5x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. Now the presence of x plus 1 on both sides kind of gives me a clue. Well, sort of, because you still have to test it, right? It may not work, but in this case, it does, because that's how I kind of came up with the problem. I, I kind of made it work, right? Okay. Or I should say, uh, I, I made sure that it worked. So, let's do the following. We're going to use partial fractions. Uh, so, we're going to think of this as a polynomial divided by a polynomial. And we're kind of uh, we're going to break this down. How do we break it down? Well... You can kind of write it like this, 5x plus 5 minus 2 divided by x minus 1, right? Okay, does that give you a clue? Well, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. So from here you get 5 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 minus 2 over x plus 1. So here's the problem with this approach. Obviously this is not going to work, but I wanted to show you something that would not work before I showed you something that will work. So this gives you 5 minus 2 over x plus 1. This is good and, uh, and nice, but the problem is I not only have x plus 1, I also have um, x on the left-hand side. So it's not going to work directly. So let's do something better than this. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from a better perspective. And that should actually work with, uh, I'm going to work with 3 instead of working with the 5x, okay? I try to adjust the 5x so that it's divisible by x plus 1, but this time I'm going to focus on the 3. So here's what I mean. I'm going to write this as 2x plus 3x plus 3. Make sense? You see how I break it down? That's the way to do it. And you'll see in a little bit why. Now take a look at it. When you split this up, you're going to get something nice. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the left-hand side, look at the right-hand side, and hopefully you'll get what I mean. And then the, this part, 3 times x plus 1, divided by x plus 1, is just going to be a 3. It's a constant. Great. So let's go ahead and see where this leads us. This is going to be actually real nice. Take a look. Now I have f of x plus 1 over x. And on the right-hand side, I kind of have the reciprocal of x plus 1 over x. So can I write it as 2 over x plus 1 over x? plus 3. And guess what? When you replace this guy here with x, and if you don't want to do that, replace it with t first, and then with x, so that you're not doing it directly. Uh, it doesn't matter. And then you'll get the answer. Now replace t with x, you're going to get the answer. Wait a minute, what was the answer? Was it the answer? Well, our answer was this, right? 3x plus 2 over x. Okay, is that the same thing? Let's check it out. If you make a common denominator, 2 plus 3x over x, 3x plus 2 over x. Yay! It's the same thing. Great, awesome, successful. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.